Hi, and welcome to the Nebula Lock of the Month. I'm Julie Herman of JWord Quilts, and I'll be here once a month to give you an overview of the blocks for each month. Now, here we are finally in month seven, and we're switching up the colors again. So we did three months of the blue and orange, and then we did three months of the lighter blue and the pink, and now we're beginning our three months of purple and green. Um, these are some personal favorites of mine. So this month, grab your pattern, and you'll notice that we have 10 fabrics, five for each of the blocks. These are the fabrics that I used. Um, True Colors by Tula Pink, so the, the palms and stripes and the mineral and the hexi and the wildflower. And then for the purple, also have stripe and wildflower, mineral, palm, hexi, all that good stuff. Now, one thing with this month is when you open up your pattern, you'll notice that two of the fat eighths for each are cut length of fabric instead of width of fabric. Now the stripes are cut that way because of the stripe, because you want the stripe to go this way in the half hex, the half hex, half triangle shape. Um, so make sure that you cut that right. If you're using a different fabric, you might not need to cut it length of fabric, so keep that in mind. Um, the diagrams show and do mention that specifically because of the stripes. And then the triangles are cut length of fabric for the yield so that you get enough out of your fabric because you'll notice that you have a good amount of large triangles all out of one fabric, so you want to make sure you get enough. All the shapes for this month are cut with the Super Sidekick ruler. Um, it's triangles and half triangles. The piecing here is going to be similar to what we did in the bonus gemstones pillowcase. Um, again, that was a Journey to Nebula project, um, and if you want to, you can look down at the videos linked below to reference um, some assistance with piecing the half triangles. And then the overall piecing is very similar um, to some of the other projects that we did during Journey. It's all just kind of a skill builder, and at this point, you kind of have those in your toolbox, which is fantastic. To begin working on our blocks for month seven, we are going to cut three shapes from either the sidekick or super sidekick ruler. We're going to cut triangles as well as half triangles. And I say three shapes because we have right half triangles and left half triangles. They're mirror images of each other, and so we want to make sure that we cut them correctly from their respective fabrics. All the cutting directions on how to do these are in your basics booklet, and in short, it is for right half triangles, ruler right side up, fabric right side up, and for left half triangles, fabric wrong side up, ruler right side up. So make sure you pay close attention to your diagram so that you get the ones that you need out of which fabrics. Additionally, our stripe is going to be cut length of fabric so that it goes in the direction that we want. So if you're using different fabrics, pay close attention to the diagrams to make sure you cut your fabrics correctly. The triangles are also cut length of fabric, and that is so that we get enough yield out of the fat eighth to get enough triangles. So after we have everything cut, we'll start our piecing. And then the first thing that we're going to piece is we're going to piece two half triangles together to create a triangle. And this is going to seem very familiar to um, what we did in our gemstones bonus pillowcase during Journey to Nebula, so I will link to that below. And then once all of our half triangles are sewn into triangles, we are going to sew our pairs of triangles together to make a diamond block. And you wanna make sure that you sew matching fabrics because that's how it's designed. It'll work out okay if you do this, but that's not exactly how the pattern's written, so make sure that you pay attention to fabric placement and you sew your diamonds. And then once you get that done, um, go ahead and lay out your block, and I have my purple block laid out for you. And so at this point, um, the construction is going to feel similar to rock candy. Um, and so I will link to that video below, but you're just gonna go ahead and add your triangles to your diamonds and then finish and create your entire block. And I know I shouldn't pick favorites, but I just love this block. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, so go ahead and piece your purple block and your green block. And if you have any questions, please ask them below. Once you've completed your blocks for month seven, lay them out and take a photo. We encourage you to post it to Instagram with the hashtag NebulaQuilt. And we would also love it if you would share it in our Facebook community page. You can then go ahead and add these blocks to your continued growing stash. 
of blocks from months one through six. And I look forward to seeing you back here next month to work on our blocks for month eight.